ma me fara se ma pen dream tv pen dream tv de o se dem yopo the challenges we have had is that especially during this igp's tenure members of parliament and uh, i don't know about a minister i stand to be corrected but members of parliament and probably or possibly some ministers have been arrested by the police randy that's for right. Some that's of why, these offenses. That's why I'm saying. How do you call that a challenge? That's why I'm saying that. Oh, lawmakers were has, breaching the law, breaking has, the law, and they has, were arrested. So you no. do an amendment to to exempt you, or to in fact make it possible for you to, in fact, legalize what you were doing illegally. Randy. And that is why, if it is for emergencies, it will not even occur to you that there are doctors and nurses in this country. If indeed the real reason. Is about the possibility of engaging in emergencies. Look, I am saying that the sponsors mm -hmm. of this LI mm -hmm. were attempting to cure something. Sometimes the cure may not be able to capture everything. Mm -hmm. The cure itself mm -hmm. may not be able to cure everything. Mm -hmm. And we must accept that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe and will not accept that we should just blame a committee or blame some persons for what it is that is happening as far as this LI is concerned. Because I was a witness to a statement and a rigorous comment by members of parliament on the floor mm -hmm. in relation to mm -hmm. members of parliament either coming to work or attending to some agent business and being stopped because they were doing something that as you stated already doing which is not what lawful mm -hmm. but sometimes like i asked the first question do this category of persons get involved in some emergencies yes mm -hmm. you are actually even adding on to Onto it that there are other service providers who are also involved in some emergencies like uh, healthcare persons, like mm -hmm. doctors, even nurses, and what have you. Mm -hmm. So it means the list is what? An ending. Mm -hmm. It continue to, you continue to build it mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. But we cannot deny the fact mm -hmm. that the persons that have been added are involved in some emergencies of a sort. In fact, take, they, are, they are the least to be involved take, in emergencies. Take, take for example, the well, 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 I, I used to think sin. Is it, Kofi? Let, but, me, tell you, but, let me tell you something. You see, at this stage, yeah. when we are dealing with the Ghanaian people, and this is even lesser than the next one, which is the speed limit. Um, for me, that's, that's, the, that's the most bizarre one. But this one, look, Kofi, the truth of the matter is yeah. that for our traffic congestion problems yeah. me sitting here i cannot deny the fact that i haven't on some occasions solicited the assistance of um police dispatch, dispatch riders, riders to, to get in to order to say i'm going to pando yeah. and the traffic from the motorway yeah. up until yeah. michelle Afienia. camp Afienia. Afienia, yeah. that they're about i could be in that traffic for perhaps two or three hours and so now and then we all go and solicit for those things yeah. now you would find those who have the sirens and others using that to escape that traffic yeah. that terrible traffic that the entire citizenry is involved in yeah. the police will arrest you the non whatever who is trying to go through the traffic yeah. not so yeah. so this amendment really is to give you this category of officials the opportunity to be able to escape this traffic that every Ghanaian citizen escapes meanwhile you have voted into office to take the decisions that will lessen that burden yes, that on all of us yes but you are taking a decision that will exempt you well, from experiencing well, that suffering you didn't how then will you solve it for us look Maybe you are not getting my point right from the beginning. I said, do we all face that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should the solution be building the infrastructure 
that's our road networks and other access rules that people could avoid even some rules when they don't need to use such rules. That's the way we should go. But have we reached there? No. I've just returned from some parts of even uh, Africa. I'm not going to say the, the, the western part of the world. Mm. And you can see serious road networks, access routes that will let you avoid sometimes even the main road where you don't need. That is what we should be looking at. Mm. The Ministry of Transport, the Ministry of Roads and Highways, the, the local government together must look at planning such that we can reduce traffic in the urban areas and on our, on our roads. So that agreed. But the next question I ask is whether this category of persons do get involved in one emergency or the other. And the answer is that yes, they do. Do they need to be exempted? Should, they, should we have another provision, like you said, that sometimes you call the help of what? Dispatch, official police yes. dispatch, to dispatch you to, to a point. Should that be something that should be available to this category of persons? Mm. It's another point that can be made so people can apply ahead of time. I always believe in planning, Randy. If I have to attend a function, and I know this is the place, first I check the times that I'm going, what is the normal traffic situation on the route, and what time I need to leave in order to get there in good time. I do that always. And if you ask my drivers, you ask my guard, they will tell you, I don't tolerate such things, even on the motorway. Sometimes when there is a situation that leads to traffic build up, you see people attempting to use the shoulders of the, of the motorway to, to bypass those of us who want to do the right thing. You know what I do most times? I will drive out and block that side mm -hmm. and move at the same snail speed that all the other vehicles are. So if you attempt... To, to, to get off the road, to use the shoulders, there's no way you'll be able to pass. Mm. Until we get to where the obstacle is, then I will get back onto the road. And those following will see that I am doing so to stop all others who want to engage in an illegality by driving on the shoulders and creating even a worse situation ahead for all of us. Mm. But we should be asking ourselves... Take a member of parliament mm -hmm. who is supposed to be in the chamber to help the business of the house. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he's supposed to attend to another assignment of state mm -hmm. somewhere within a very short time. Mm -hmm. And this law didn't say that compulsorily members of parliament must fix or ministers must fix these things in their vehicles. Like I said earlier, I don't think the speaker will, will fix such things in his vehicle. I don't think that the chief justice will fix it in his or her vehicle. I don't think uh, the vice president will fix it in his or her vehicle. They all rely on police to uh, escort them mm -hmm. and, so on and, so, uh, and so on and so forth. Should members of parliament not have facilities so that if you have to move from the chamber to say airport to pick a flight quickly to an assignment there will be an escort for you why should there be why should there be oh no 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 randy if you are taking it to that level that you should not have for example sometimes no you, you don't get the point i'm making the, the point i'm making is that no. look we are all facing that traffic you just you because just, no, of a reason. No, no, no doc. You Why just, are you not you focused just, you just, on solving no. the problem? And because you see, the problem goes from it's, it keeps no, degenerating no, over the years. No, no, no. no and you no, are looking no, for no, an easier no, way out. Doc, you just said earlier, for example, that yes. you sometimes when you have to travel to yeah, see Pando, yes, I do. do. Yes, that's why I'm saying that for a member, and that member is not an everyday thing. I'm sure the discussion is because people think yes. that you are to fix this siren so that, like, myself and Chinia woke up from our homes today coming to Metro TV, then 
the sirens are on. We, 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 you, we already have the sirens. Coming, you are using on, them. Coming, the problem is that on, the police on, on arrest on a, you. I am saying because that. Because the law doesn't support I'm you. That. I'm so that. you want to avoid that no, no, by legislating no, it. No, 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 Randy. What I'm trying to say is that the whole discussion is like the idea is for ministers, members to fix this and for everyday use and every time use. Why not? No. It is for emergency situation and uh, who determines that well when you are stopped how will you when be you stopped? stopped when you are oh the law doesn't say emergency why the law when, says that when 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 they are using it now and you say they get arrested um, how are they stopped they are stopped because the law does not allow them to use it and i'm saying that even if the law allows you you can still be stopped you, you can't be stopped you, you, have stop, no. you have to stop first yeah, but, no, you, who, but you will not no, be arrested. I'm saying that, yes, yes. You have to be stopped first yes. for them to know whether the person in the vehicle yes. has a right to use it at that time. And then you must explain the emergency. The law doesn't suggest I, that. Explain. Have, there's I, no emergency oh, with the law. You see, you, you said there's no emergency. Emergency with the law. The law now says that you can use it. So well, once you are using know, it and you show I that know, it is an MP's vehicle, I yes, know, the story ends. I know, no, it's not an MP's vehicle. Or a vehicle. minister's vehicle, yes. No, it's not. Or a high court judge's vehicle, no, yes. No, I don't think that is what it's supposed to be. It is only when the person, you the minister or the MP, yes. must be in the vehicle. Yes. Not just your vehicle. Yes. But if you ask me personally, yes. my personal view is that, yes, we don't need this. At this time, we don't need it, and it is also not no, to say. Now, let, this is what the law. It says. is also not to say. Just no, before, this. before you, before the, you laws, the law, the law speaks you... about vehicles belonging to. <coughs> so it is not about whether you are in the vehicle or not. It's vehicles belonging to. So once it is you, Kofi Adams's vehicle. Well, the so law allows you to. That is why. That is why I've it. said. I've said whether you it, are in the vehicle or not. No, but, matter. but that that is wrong. I, I come to that, but let me ask you this: the final one. And the one that blows my mind. The speed. Yes. You are, you are amending regulation 166. Speed limit shall no longer be applicable to this category of persons. Well, so, vice president, speaker, chief justice, uh, justices of the superior court, uh, members of parliament, ministers of state. Speed limit Randy, shall no longer be applicable. If you asked me. Why do you need I would have, a Formula 1? I would have. I would have wished that this part should have some additions. Because you see, we already have speed limit for some areas, except the motorway, which is 100 kilometers per hour. And then the, so normal, that's also a speed limit. the normal highway, mm. which is, I think, about 80 or 90 mm. kilometers per you hour. You are exempted from all, you are being exempted from that is all what I'm speed saying, limits. That's why I'm saying that I would have wished that... Uh, schools, communities, town areas where we have limits should apply to even all these category of persons, even where they are using the siren. Even when they are using the siren. You see, I'm sure the sponsors have at the back of their mind that you use the siren only when the speed is at a certain uh, level. Mm -hmm. So, we cannot, you will not use siren when you are moving at 30 kilometers per hour. You don't need to use the siren maybe if you are doing 50 kilometers uh, uh, per, per, per hour. So that possibly would have informed them. But I think that this part of the amendment could create problems for us where someone using just a sole vehicle without an advance notification reaches a school where kids are crossing or a zebra crossing where somebody is already getting through and it could lead to yeah what, what this means is that a vehicle that belongs to an mp if it's involved in an accident whether it kills somebody it destroys somebody's vehicle it, it, the accident leads to uh, um, um, maiming or injuries to people Randy, that person that's why, that's that vehicle saying, that's what i'm saying is I'm, exempted from the over speeding rules cannot be charged saying, that's why I'm saying that I'm worried about ah. this, this component because even for the head of state who has advanced indication that he is coming, we have had instances where they have been involved 
in near fatal accident. I remember His Excellency Jerry John Rawlings on the Temamoto Way. I remember His Excellency John Ajekun Kufo at uh, Opebia. And uh, recently, uh, 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 President Akufuado also returning from uh, uh, Kumasi, even though he was not in the convoy himself. What happened leading to even loss of what? Uh, lives. Even where you have this indication, notification by even motorbikes, several of them, sometimes three or four ahead already, we have witnessed situations of what? Car crash incidents. Mm. So you can imagine where only one vehicle without a limit in an area where it should have limit. So far, so good. Se open online portal e Ghana. Ah, ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment ya. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have been doing TV.